One week to go. Are we gonna finish the van? We're Russ and Sean, and this year we moved to the UK to renovate our very own van with our friends Tristan and Helen from Coconuts and Camels. After a rough time in our last video, that's cut in short. <laughs> Yay! We finally finished the shower. Let's hope everything goes smooth in this one. Houston, we've got a success. We made a list of things that we need to do to finish our van. Hopefully, we will be able to knock out two or three of these things today. Um, but yeah, it's all big projects, but this is the last little bit, so hopefully only a week left. Today, they are going to be working on the electrical system and possibly mount some solar panels. Last piece of hardware is getting mounted down to the board, and it's the smart shunt. Then it'll be time to then it'll be time to start wiring. <laughs> Luckily, they're a very strong piece of kit. This goes in line on your negative side, and it's to connect to your phone via Bluetooth to your system. So you download the Victron Connect app, and you're able to monitor all your voltages. Oh, fancy. Uh, so right now we've got the board attached to uh, some table jigs here, just holding it in there tight. And now that all the hardware's bolted onto the board, we're just about to go ahead and start to run cabling all through the fuses into the positive junction box, negative sides to the smart shunt, making sure that all of the DC side, the 12 volt side is wired up. And then I'll work on the AC side, which is the consumer unit and inverter using three core cabling with your live neutral and earth. Then we have the 12 volt fuse box here, which is going to spur off over to the other uh, elements of the van, such as the lights, the Wi Fi unit, the TV, and it is a 12 volt telly. Yeah, it's a 12 volt telly, so it's going to spur off of this. We'll make up some little labels as well, so if a fuse goes, you can tell which one it is. And top tip is to carry around a bag of fuses with you, not only for this, but also some for these as well. Whilst we were on the road, we had to change a fuse, and it was quite a simple job because we have them on us. But yeah, we're gonna crack on now and we'll see how it goes. Well, Tristan's getting that board all ready to start wiring. I'm just collecting all of our cabling and cleaning out the back of the van. That way Merce is gonna vacuum it out, hoover it up and wipe everything down so that way when we go in to mount it, everything's all nice and clean. <laughs> Last week, Marissa and I pre-fed this two and a half millimeter wire through past the bathroom when we had it apart. That way we can run it from our vehicle battery back to our solar batteries. It makes sure that it keeps the battery on the vehicle charged and we're not drawing anything off of it. So right now I've just removed the floor bits and we're gonna run it along the same wire that runs from the B2B charger from the battery to the back, tracing it through and feed it through. Oh. It literally came off the thing as it came through. Like there was like a two inches sticking out and it disconnected. So. Oh no. At least you got it. Oh snap. Cool. Cables run. We cut it with a little extra. We won't hook this in until we actually have the board in place. But hopefully we won't have to drive the van before that's all installed. So I'm just going to kind of leave this stuff apart for now. And we can start putting back together the back where we ran everything through. First thing knocked off the list for today. Yeah, your neutral, your ground. Yeah. Yeah, and then this will be neutral. your hot. That's live. That's live? So yeah. is that red? Red or brown. And then this would be black? Black or blue. And then this would be? Earth. Earth. Are you paying attention to me? Ever since you got this haircut, you turned into a new man. So judgy. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that custom made little spice rack, whatever we want to store here. We got a switch for our water pump, water level sensors, and then a couple 
230 volt plug so we can plug in like our laptop chargers and stuff like that. They'll run back to like where our shore plug in and everything goes to the inverter and we'll have a full electrical setup now. We'll just, uh, I was thinking maybe we'll just keep something plugged in here long term and run it over and mount it near the bed so we got some plugs over here towards the back and then we can run another extension cord towards the front if we need that but gives us plenty of power to be able to work while we're on the road. Look at that fine paint job right here. Pretty happy with what we got done today. Tomorrow me and Marissa are going to do a couple more bits around the van and then Saturday Tristan will be back to help us finish up the electrical system. Day two of finishing up van projects and this morning we are going with solar first. Today is supposed to be around 50 degrees Fahrenheit and tonight is only supposed to drop down to about 40. It's the first time it's not going to go sub freezing in weeks. So we're going to go ahead and get these things stuck on the top. Right now I'm just trying to get the roof all dried off. Last night everything was frozen so it's all wet up here. Pretty much got it done and then I'm just going to re-scuff where we had already scuffed on the roof. Just because uh, it's been a couple weeks, it doesn't feel as like rough and I want to get a good bonding. We've decided not to go with screwing down the solar panels. We're actually just going to bond them with an adhesive. That's what Tristan and Helen did and uh, it's worked really well for them. Less holes in the roof is always a good thing for me. See how it works. If not, we might lose a solar panel driving down the road. Oh God. Today we've got celebrity help, Mr. Martin, Tristan's dad. He's giving me a hand putting these solar panels on and then uh, I think he's gonna give me a hand doing the bed rails after. Yeah, beautiful. Man, Tristan and his family have been absolutely epic. Such a help and we're indebted forever. <laughs> Grab it, take it your way, my son. You guys don't know how good that feels. This is one of the first projects we started, but it was super cold and we decided to hold off. We are like, ah, oh, we're not gonna use the solar until we're done, and guess what? One project done. Of course, we still have to tie them together in series, but I wanna let the silicone dry really good before I start messing with the wires. We just got all the wires pulled out to the side and uh, we'll connect those tomorrow. All right, so solar is done for today and now we've moved on to the bed beams. Tristan and Helen have graced us with their ever so knowledgeable presences and we're going to secure the beams into the side rail. We just had to cut back. We're gonna have to do a roof nut in each mounting bracket, three, of, three in each mounting bracket, and then make sure they're all level and we'll do six of those. Halfway there, these three brackets are in. I'm gonna do this side and then we'll mount the walls back up and uh, get this TV mount hung back up here. It should put us pretty close to our list of things to do for today. Trusty bed rail right here. That's how they'll go, and then we'll put the slats across them. There'll be three of them. Boom! Done. Another thing marked off the list, the TV is in and we're almost done with the bed beams, but the battery died for the cutter, so. Router. The what? Router. Router? Router. Why is it called a router? Because that's, that's, that's the name wifi. of the tool. Wi-Fi router. No, it's not designed for cutting, it's designed for smoothing edges. Okay. <laughs> the router died on us, so that's the reason why. <laughs> that's why we had to stop that and we decided to mount the TV, but there's only two left, so we're super close. For uh, anybody interested in building a van or re renovating a van with your significant other, I highly recommend it. It's been a uh, sometimes a process. We have to learn each other and figure out how not to uh, piss each other off. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to help as much as I can with everything, but you know, definitely Tristan and Sean have been handling the majority of the van work, which I appreciate them both so much for that. Um, but yeah, so tonight I'm gonna be heading back to the tattoo studio to finish my last two days there. And Sean's going to continue working on the van a little bit tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow we'll finish up the electronics, get the display mounted and the thermostat mounted for the heater. It's pretty much it for today though. We're just going to pop these in, the TV's mounted, We've got the solar panels on the roof, you know. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Me and Tristan finish up these electronics. Marissa yeah. will be gone in Chelmsford, so.
Marissa's left me to go tattooing, so I gotta make my own coffees these days. Today is day three of finishing up these van bits, and uh, Tristan just got down here, made him a cup of coffee, made one for myself, and uh, it's time to start cracking on. Our goal for today is try to finish this electronic system. Once we get this board in place, I mean, that's really one of the last big things we have to do. Obviously, I have to build that, like, chair or seat whatever we're going to build design around the diesel heater and then after that i think it's really just decorating fingers crossed i don't want to jinx us but everything's starting to come together all right today i'm not going to do too much talking this video is probably already long enough that board is looking pretty board will go straight in right here Battery will probably go in this corner right here. Right, next week when they extend our propane line, I'm gonna build a cabinet here as well to put the propane box, propane in a box. Uh, the reason I wanna do that, right now we have these little small calor bottles and they don't sell them across Europe. So we're gonna switch over to like a regular refillable propane tank. It'll be bigger, we want to swap them as often. And honestly where it's at right now, it's like underneath the oven, it's a pain in the butt to get to. and. It's just a headache, so we're going to move it back here. We'll lose a little garage space, but it's not like we're carrying too, too much stuff. And I'll box it out, make it usable, put some hooks on it or something, <clears throat> turn it into an accessory. Once he finishes assembling everything on the board, we'll bring the board over. We'll mount it, secure it down, fasten it to the wall with some sort of cross support. Um, and then next week, whenever I put the bed beams in, I'll probably do another like vertical support to the bed beams. It just is a secondary extra support just because we're driving down the road it's gonna be heavy with that big inverter mounted on it and everything so we really want it nice and secured <laughs> get mounted down right here underneath all these cables how's it going not too bad looks like it's about four and a half centimeters i'm not very proud of it of what my four and a half centimeter wood oh. <laughs> there he is Got the board done. Everything is hooked up and ready to go. We are about to flip the mother switch. But first, I'm going to call Marissa so she can see as we see and see if it works or if it doesn't work. And she's been a integral part of this operation. Today sucked. I did not enjoy making coffees. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Hi. You ready to see if this thing works? Yeah. It's gonna go dark for a second. And Sean said, let there be light. Huh. Light? The blue light, I forgot we even had this. The bathroom light works that we wired in. Now I gotta go up front after we put all the fuses in and check the heater that I wired in. <laughs> Houston, we've got a success. We appreciate everybody watching this video and thank you for Tristan for all his help. Say goodbye. <clears throat> we need to clean the back of our van. We need to clean our van in general. Things gross. Los Andros. <laughs> 